I grew up in DC and have always hated Dulles Airport. Not because of the architecture and not even because of the mobile lounges. It's because there was no link to the metro. It was just too far from the city. Well, 60 years after it was first conceived and billions of dollars later, as of November 2022, you can now take the Silver Line out to Dulles Airport. How convenient is it really? Let's find out. I began my journey in the concrete hellscape that is Northern Virginia. Starting at the Greensboro Station just past Tyson's, I headed up the escalator to the platform. This station had been part of the Phase 1 construction opening back in 2014. But believe it or not, this was actually my first time ever riding the Silver Line. I paid for my fare using the Smart Trip app. Fares vary by origin destination pair. My trip cost $5.05. Of course, this being DC, there was track work. The stretch between McLean and Ballston was closed and replaced with shuttle buses. God help you if you wanted to get between Tyson's and downtown DC. I was traveling around 5 p.m. and trains were about every 10 minutes. The station had the classic lights that flash when a train is approaching. These 7000 series cars from Kawasaki are pretty nice, with a decent ratio of seats to standing area. At this hour, I had my pick of the seats. Travel time from the Tysons area to Dulles is just over 20 minutes. To get downtown, say to Metro Center, it takes about 53 minutes. If you're trying to get to National Airport, you need to take the train to Roslyn, then change to the Blue Line, which takes just under an hour. And if you're trying to get to Reagan Airport, well, as a DC local, I have no idea who or what that is. Who? After stopping in Spring Hill, the tracks enter the median of the Dulles Toll Road. Speeds are, well, sub 60 miles per hour. Cars pass the train. I'd say it's most similar to the Chicago CTA Blue Line to O'Hare. However, this train lacked the distinct odor of human feces that makes the CTA so memorable. After stops in Reston East, Reston Town Center, and Innovation Center, the train leaves the median of the toll road and approaches Saarinen's masterpiece slash monstrosity. The station is above ground on the other side of the parking lot. Initially, the plan was for an underground station in the terminal but that would have cost an extra $330 million, and Governor Bob McDonald said no. To be fair, when there's 60 years of bureaucracy involving literal prison time, there's a lot of controversy to cover, but as a traveler, you likely just don't care. So, after descending the platform, there's an underground tunnel with moving walkways. It takes about five or six minutes walking, but if you're carrying luggage, that's something to consider. You arrive in the arrivals hall with baggage claim. So take the escalator up one more level to departures. The final point to be aware of is the hours of operation. The first train in the morning is 8 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. So good luck flying out before 10 a.m. Similarly, the last train is 1 a.m. most days. So be careful if you have a late night flight that is delayed. So the Silver Line to Dulles, it's great. Yeah, the trains could be more frequent, go faster, and it would be nice if the station were actually near the goddamn terminal but it's such an improvement over the Dulles Toll Road and the cab monopoly held by Washington Flyer. I might actually consider IAD for flights to the DC area in the future. DCA remains an order of magnitude more convenient, but this single rail link makes me hopeful for Dulles' future. If you want to see what it's like to get to Heathrow Airport, click here. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.